you will what happen is so first you need you create a, a plain text something called plain text text and then in ha we, during hash what we would do is we create a fixed length data stream this is fixed length right so this is and here we use an algorithm algorithms right so mostly common use algorithms are md5 and then we use uh, SHA and SHA. We have uh, multiple uh, block sizes SHA256 and we have SHA512. So these are uh, hash uh, algorithm. So we use uh, algorithm to convert plain text to ciphertext. So this conversion is known as encryption. So that's why we say it's one way encryption. The reason is when you use hash algorithms, there is no way that you could reverse reverse it and also remember there is no key uh, when it comes to hash algorithms so we don't use any key in algorithm so we, every other uh, encryption encryption scenarios we will be using a key but hash we wouldn't use any key as a reason as a result as long as you use same plain text right to create hash right so this is the hash this is a, a, a plain text and if you use an algorithm if you use same plain text always hash is going to be same that we see we have seen we noticed during system hacking especially windows system hacking that's the reason we use in linux systems i explain uh, salt so when you use salt uh, so even for same uh, use passwords uh, the output hash is going to be changing okay i think it's clear uh, so this is known as hash and there are multiple uh, scenarios we will be using hash and if I show you one of the tools that we can I just demonstrate how hash works so you can hash anything pretty much right so if I just uh, quickly show you uh, you know plain text like let's say password so this is my password let's say p-a-s-s-w-r-d password uh, so these are the alg uh, algorithms in encryption algorithm. If I calculate, you would see MD5 generates this password, uh, SHA1, SHA512, 256. So, uh, you know, uh, they generate respective hash. And also this, this uh, length would be fixed a a a a for the algorithm. So let's say MD5 has a fixed length and um, SHA1 has a fixed length. So irrespective of the input, ha always uh, the generated output would have the same length, right? For an example, even if you use, let's say I can use a file here. I'm gonna go in there. Let's say I'm going to my uh, downloads folder and let's find something uh, bigger. Right here, let's say this one. Right, about 88 uh, uh, MB. I open it up, calculate, and it will generate hash. This hash also, uh, the length is same as similar to the string, right? So that's the reason I, 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 I explain. Uh, you can't reverse the hash. If you could rever uh, reverse the hash, uh, then this is going to be uh, the best, uh, you know, uh, uh, compression tool uh, better than WinZip or WinRAR. So you would see 88 uh, MB file. I created about 32 bit uh, hash. OK, so I think up to this point clear.